Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through another mail merge exercise in Microsoft Word. And this time we're going to have a table in our document. So, along with I've got a letter started here, I do have the right panel for the mail merge popped up here. But if you didn't know how to do that, to get that to come up, go to Mailings and go to Start Mail Merge and click on the down arrow and select Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard, and that will give you the panel on the right that walks you through step by step the mail merge process. So at this point my letter is started and I want to start in putting in merge codes and merge fields um, and at this point we would um, type a new list in this case I'm gonna say create and it gives you basic um, column headings but obviously we're gonna need to modify this for our particular purpose so you always go down to customize columns and that will let you change all these column heading names to whatever you need them to be for your purpose so um, this is an example of the like warning notices we would send out send out to students who maybe has a, um, a poor mid-semester grade to catch their attention so we'll have um, some fields dedicated to that so advisee first is one of my I do need title but I need it later so first name let me just rename that to say advisee first so it reflects my column name let me get rid of name and just go back and say advisee first say okay and last name I can do the same thing let me just rename it and get rid of name and just say advisee last Okay, and you can sit, just start hitting enter there and to lock that in. And address line one, well, that's there, but I don't need company name. So, company name, I'll hit delete and get rid of that. And address line one is there. Address line two, I don't need for this particular purpose. So I'll get rid of that. And then, city, state, and zip are there. City, state, zip, I'll keep those. And after zip code, I need title. That's where title needs to come in because order is important here and let me just move title down using the move down button and I want it underneath zip code okay country or region I don't need that one for this instance and I don't need these three either so let me just delete those delete nope, not that one though work phone delete yeah email address delete yes okay now there's some additional fields that I still need for this very customized report so I'm gonna to go to add now I don't have to actually even click on add I can just say a um, let me get down in here let me hit add the first time then after that I can just hit a for add and it'll come up this next one is um advisor hit enter uh, hit a again will pop up another one and this one's called advisor phone enter and then hit a for add and class one add class 2 okay add which is hit the a button and date and add and I'm gonna have one for B hour like beginning hour code these however you like for your needs a for add again uh, I want to do e hour for ending hour a for add class one day a for add class two day a for add again class one time a for add class two time and add a for add class one instructor a for add class two instructor instructor correct there we go instructor there we go um, okay and now that's all the fields I need quite a few already obviously and I can say okay when I'm happy with them when they're in the right order it makes it easier to type when they're all in the right order so I say okay now I can actually type my data in this is line one here that I can start and I could go all the way through it and spend a lot of time on this um, and I will just show you briefly how this one little record goes in
and so on and so on, and I would go all the way out and complete the whole line here. Okay, just for the sake of time, I'm going to pull from one already, just like that I have already built. And let me just go to that file that I have. And I think I called it warnings. Let's open that up. And so these are the four records that I typed just for demonstration purposes. All the way out, you can see the field names, advisor, advisor phone, class one, class two, all the way throughout here. And I did all that in create and then saved it as warnings is the name I gave it and saved it in my folder. And I want to lock that in with this particular document so that when I go up to insert merge fields on your toolbar, all these field names that we created are now there. And so I can go up here and plant these in here. And I'm, my cursor's in the right spot, I do believe, so I can say advisee first, space, advisee last, and then hit enter. And then their address, hit enter, and city, state, zip code. Be mindful of your punctuation and your spacing as you go. And then we'll start the letter. Dear first, or advise you first. Put your colon in. Don't forget punctuation. And we'll just start the paragraph according to, and we'll have the title of the advisor, title, space, advisor, and then apostrophe S. It's okay to do that. Records, you received midterm warnings in class one and class two. Period. Please see title, space advisor, by the date field to see if you should consider withdrawing from these classes. Advisor, or title I should say, advisor, space advisor. Can be reached at, and then put the advisor's phone field in there. During the hours of beginning hour and the uh, ending hour field, the E hour. Okay. On Friday, March ninth. Call to set up an appointment. Now that's your letter so far. I haven't in quite got my table in there yet, but I'm going to hit down and type in um, sincerely and since everything's hugging the left side as a block style letter we'll do it that way now the table if you want a table in here just for uh, demonstration purposes we can insert table I've got a small table going in here that's four columns by three rows which you can just use your mouse to make this happen on the smaller tables. This is fine. And I want to put in some formatting with the table. So I'm going to take row one. I'm going to shade the background here. So I'm going to right click after I highlight those four cells and say borders and shading. Go to shading tab. And I just pick a soft gray. Say OK. And that fills that in with nice soft gray. And then I want to put some headings in there, class, times, day, and instructor. Okay, so let's let me center that for and make it bold. 
uh, class and then set it again times day and then the last one is instructor centered and I probably should go ahead and bold the rest of these I didn't do that use control B on your keyboard to make that happen now you can put your field names in here too as you need them class well I want class 1 and class 2 in here so I'm gonna go back to my mailings tab and just pick up with my merge codes insert merge field here and I'll say class 1 goes there underneath it goes class 2 times let's put class 1 time in there and underneath of course class 2 time under day class 1 day underneath that class 2 day underneath uh, over to instructor you want um, instructor class 1 instructor and underneath that you want class 2 instructor so you can pop these in just anywhere you need them to go that they where, where it will make sense and so that's a little table with merge codes installed and let's write the letter which we just did and preview the letters and you can see how that all nice that all fits in and even down to in the table it puts in and I can click through these different ones um, as you can see information changes as we go through the different letters of course with mail merge you're not done until you actually get down here and say complete the merge and that's what you should do now if you're happy with the way it looks and then preview your letters is the previous one but let me go up here on the complete the merge part this is very important for my students to edit individual letters and say merge merge to new document it becomes a whole new document called letters one and document one still resides here if you need to go back and make any changes to your merge process and just do the merge again but with letters one that's your finished merge so you want to do all okay and that creates a whole new document called letters one that you can see up here and you, this is the one where you actually scroll down and you see all the different letters that you've created based on this merge so yes I typed all that out in create but um, I just went quickly back to browse just so I could make it happen on video a lot quicker and not have to sit there and watch me type all them in again alright so that was with using the create button on step three okay Hope you've enjoyed the video.